When you think of marmots, the first thing that comes to mind is that they live in mountainous areas, but there are also those who prefer rough grassland like the bobic marmots. Black flies are a real nuisance. We're surrounded by them and soon the bobic marmots are having it bad too. The poor marmot doesn't have a quiet second. The bloodsuckers cannot be warded off, and scratching all the itchy bites isn't good for the fur. You can see bald spots everywhere. He finally has enough of it and tries to find some salvation in the sand. The nervous marmot digs and seeks rest and shelter. Black flies. Here in southern Russia they reproduce in the waters of the Volga at the end of June. Then they can be seen flying across the country in big swarms. The Isabellan wheatear looks as if he's glued to the sky. He's hovering perfectly still in the air. From up here, he observes the surroundings, looks out for food, enemies and curious marmots. The bobic marmot has come too close to his nest and the bird doesn't like that at all. On windless summer days it's the black flies, and today it's the infuriated Isabellan wheatear annoying the marmot. And again he is hovering perfectly still in the air. This is how the bird marks its territory. But the marmot does not understand the bird's sign language, it only understands solid arguments. All that the bobic marmot wants is some peace and quiet but the bird doesn't let him have it. <laughs> 